So guys, Arsenal take on Southampton away from home at St Mary's tomorrow, 2 p.m. kickoff. I'm here to give you my preview and bullet line out for the game. So yes, guys, Arsenal back in action once again in the Premier League, and we, um, you know, want to continue our, our our charge for the <laughs> for the league title um, at the top of the league right now. Um, and we do go away, St Mary's, Southampton. Um, as I said, kicking off tomorrow, 2 p.m. And I'm here, of course, to give you my preview and bullet line up as we always do. So um, before we do start, guys, smash that button. Without further ado, let's waste no time and get into it. So, Southampton Arsenal. Then, what does this game mean for us? Well, it's South. Let's talk about Southampton. The, the, let's talk about the opponents first. Um, Southampton are, are literally like Marmite. You know, they can either play really well or they can play really bad one week. Literally, it's like they can go and beat Chelsea, but then they're going to go and get slapped like to, to Man United. And it's similar to what happens when we play against them as well. Last season. We could have got top four if we would have beat Southampton. We didn't. Um, away, and, and I'm talking about the away from home as well. At St Mary's, and they beat us 1-0 last season. And that and that game was pathetic as well. And if we would have won that game, we would, literally would have got Champions League football this season. But we didn't win it, and we lost 1-0. Um, and obviously, there's been times as well where they've, in the past, they've absolutely battered us. They battered us. I don't know if you guys remember, but they, they beat us 4-0 on Boxing Day <laughs> under Wenger. But... Obviously, this was many, 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 many years ago. Um, we're a totally different sides now than we were back then, especially in the FA Cup game as well, when, when they also beat us 1-0, not knocking us out of the FA Cup. Um, but again, we are different sides. It, we are in 2022 now, guys. We are a much better side than we were tw uh, when we were knocked out by them in the FA Cup. And, and we are a much better side than we were last season. So, listen, I still think it's going to be a tough game. As I said, you, 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 I don't know what Southampton is going to turn up like because, as I said, they are literally, they can literally, you know, turn up and we can either bat them like, you know, smash them tomorrow 3 0 or something like that, or they can go and beat us tomorrow. Anything can happen. It's just with Southampton in it. So, <clears throat> yeah, obviously, I've watched some of their games. I watched the game against Man United at St Mary's and they lost 1 0. And they had some very good chances in that game. Thought they gave Man United a good game, and they should have should have got more out of it. Um, so I think it's going to be a tough game. Of course, they got they got some decent players. As we all know, James Wall, James Wall Prowse um, is a key player for them. Uh, che Adams up front is doing well. Um, I don't know if they've still got Theo Wilcott. I don't know if, if he's still that, um, at the club. Be interesting to see if he plays against. Um, of course, Arsenal. Of course, she's play for Arsenal. Of course, and um, it'll be interesting to see if he does play. Um, I don't know if he's if he's injured or whatever, um, but they do have, you know, him. Um, they've got um, Arabio, um, Joe, Joe. I can't pronounce his name, man. It's like Joe Arabo, Arabo, something like that. He used to play for Rangers. Um, so yeah, they they signed Clatter as well from Marseille, who's, who plays for Croatia as well. Um, he's a, he's a decent defender, and of course. Um, yeah, as I said, they've got James Ward Prowse as well. Um, but they got rid of um, Brozier, who's, who's gone back to Chelsea now. That's a big mi uh, miss for them. But yeah, I've, I'm very confident, of course, going into this game. And I do think we are getting you our, you know, good form that we're on. Um, I think it's going to be a very tight game, though. Um, as I said, anything can happen. You know, we can go and bat them or they can even beat us. But um, I think we will win. And my score prediction, guys, I'm going to go with... I want to go with an Arsenal win in this by. I want to go with Southampton nil. I actually think we we are, we are going to keep a clean sheet. I think Southampton nil, Arsenal two. I think we're going to get a two nil win away from home. I mean, our last three games we have won one nil, one nil against Bordeaux, one nil against um, Leeds, and one nil against PSV. Three one nil wins in a row. So could it be another one nil win? I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm just going to be happy if we get the three points. That's all that matters. Of course, Man City did win today, and it's Brighton three one. So we're at the moment one point clear. So if we do win, we can make sure that we go four points clear of Manchester City once again. And that will really put pressure on them. So um, if if we do lose, though, yeah, I'm not going to be happy. I'll be honest, I'm not going to be happy. But uh, let's get on to my predicted lineup. All right, guys, so it's going to be pretty similar to what we've been playing for this whole entire season, pretty much. Um, Rams are in goal. It's, of course, the standard Rams are in goal. Um, yeah, obviously, I thought he's, this season he's done what he's done last season. has performed very, very good. He's been fantastic for us. So, yeah, Ramsdale in goal. Um, the, the back four, 
this will be interesting to see because Tommy Ashley's playing quite a lot of left back. Quite a lot of left back. But for this one, I think Ben White's been so, so good in right back. I'm going to keep Ben White there. I feel that's one one set will do as well. He's, he's going to play Ben White right back for me. Um, it's between him and Tommy Asu, but I'm going to drop Tommy Asu for this game. I'm going to play Ben White uh, right back, and he's doing well in that right back position. Just remember, guys, he is technically a centre back. Uh, he's playing right back, so yeah, fair play to Ben White, and he needs to have another big game um, tomorrow. Uh, the two centre backs, of course, will be the new contract. He's, he signed a new contract. Gabriel has signed a new deal for Arsenal. Um, he's going to play centre back alongside, of course, William Saliba, uh, Saliba, absolute Rolls Royce of um, of a player. He is William Saliba, but Gabriel, of course, has a mistake in him, and we all know this. But apart from that, he is a reasonable, solid defender, and I, I'm happy that he signed the new contract as well. And um, yeah, because I've seen quite a lot of hate that he's been getting Gabriel. Um, obviously, people and are entitled to their opinions and in my opinion I think he's a very good player I, but I do get where people are coming from where he does have the mistake in him because he does and, he, and he's proved that times this season where he, where, where he can cost us but I still think he's a very solid defender so Gabriel Saliba as the two centre backs left back I'm going to go with my left back Kieran Tierney um, I think Sinchenko is probably injured anyway I don't see him starting Tinny didn't play Europa League, so uh, no, sorry, Tinny did play Europa League. What one about? Yeah, he did play Europa League, but I've, um, but I think we should start him for this game. Tinny needs to start for me in that left back position. Uh, the centre uh, in the midfield, then I'm going to go of course uh, Thomas Partey. Uh, yeah, he's been so good. I mean, and without Thomas Partey, we we literally lack so much in that midfield, and I don't want to see if Partey gets injured in the, in the World Cup. Then we have to either buy someone in January, another midfielder in January, or actually go and play Sam Lukonga there. I'll be honest, Lukonga's good for the future, but he's not good now. You know, party's key now. And uh, yeah, what what player he is. And then, of course, of course alongside him, Granite Xhaka. Once again, this guy's turned into a fan's favourite. And I never thought we'd ever say in this. I am, I, I, Xhaka's, honestly, I actually, li I actually like Granite Xhaka. Like I, I, I like watching him granite in the jacket now, because back then, back years in like years ago, when he's making all them stupid errors, when he was costing us game after game, getting stupid red cards, when he threw the captain's armband on the floor and took his shirt off and swore, swore, swore the fans, I generally hated him, but big big respect to Granite Jacker for turning it around, big respect and he's been so good this season. It's crazy, like, he's been one of our best players this season, and that's not even, I'm not even over-exaggerating, right? He's been one of our best players this season, and what I love about Granit Xhaka now is he, something's changed him, because he, he's actually getting goals, he's going forward a lot, he's creating big chances. He never used to do that when he first signed for Arsenal. Like, he, he was always sideways and backwards, and we was killing for him to just, uh, you know, Start attacking, my friend. Start creating chances. And that's what he's done this season. There's a, there's a new there's a new player. Granit Xhaka turned into a new player. Granit Xhaka's looks like, looking like the player that we signed from Mitch and Gladbach while we signed Granit Xhaka in the first place. He, he he looks like that same player. So Granit Xhaka party and number ten. Um, it will be um, Martin Odegaard. He needs to really perform for this game. I think I think Odegaard needs a goal as well. I think he needs a goal. Um, he, for me, Odegaard don't score a, um, an, enough goals. You know, yeah, he creates some good chances, and he. But there's times where he, yeah, I just think you need to shoot a lot more, my friend. Because there's times where he gets his into the box right, and he passes it to the shooting. I'm like, if you shoot, mate, you're probably gonna score. You know what I mean? So, Odegaard needs to really perform for this game for me. Um, if not. Fabio Vieira might actually take his position. I don't know. Um, yeah, so Odegaard, I'm playing number 10. The front three, of course, we'll say the same as always. Left-hand side, Gabriel Martinelli. Unbelievable player. Yeah, he goes in straight away. Right-hand side, Saka. Yeah. Um, I don't know with Saka because he's playing Europa League. He's been... See, Saka gets overplayed so much, you know, so... 
he, I think he's, he's going to start for this game, of course. Well, we have to start him, don't we? We ain't really got anyone else. Um, apart from Marquinhos or Nelson, but neither of them are never going to get... Mate, Marquinhos and Nelson couldn't even get in the Europa League squad. Like, couldn't even, they couldn't even start in the Europa League game, so... Don't even think about them. <laughs> so, yeah, Saka, of course, will have to play, um, even though he's played quite a lot. I think, pretty sure he's played almost every single game this season, Saka. He, he's missed, like, a few... I think he's missed, like, two Europa League games, but the rest he's started week in, week out. So, yeah, he's going to go there and just pray that he doesn't get injured. But, um, yeah, he's still quality right right, uh, right hand side for Saka. And, of course, up front is the main striker, Gabriel Jesus. Um, will start up front again, started in Europa League. Um, I thought wasn't that great to be honest in Europa League um, against PSV. Um, he's quite sloppy when he lost the ball, but honestly, this it's one game. It's, it's each one game. You know, he, he's going to come back for this game and hopefully get a goal as well because he's another one who hasn't scored um, in quite. In, in, but yeah, as I was saying, I think uh, Jesus um, hopefully will get his goal. Um, because, yeah, um, yeah, we're going to play Hank Gabriel Jesus up front. And then, that is, of course, my lineup. Literally, just that guy. So, I said, I think we're going to win this 2-0. Um, Southampton, New Arsenal 2. Clean sheet away from home. Going to go four points clear once again, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. Comment your thoughts down below. And I'll see you guys, of course, for the match review after the game. Straight after the game. Um, as well as, uh, what else? Um, yeah, and then, yeah, match review, and then obviously I'm going to try and get a PSV fan on Monday night or Tuesday night for the preview, because we do play on Thursday again in Europa League. So, yeah, big up, everyone. Thanks so much for the support as well. Subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that button. Come on, you gunners.